Chart Patterns. Chart patterns are used for technical analysis. The price action will form chart patterns that can be used to determine possible future trends. Chart patterns are fairly simple to identify. The name of the pattern will describe what you see. Here, we will cover double tops, double bottoms, head and shoulders, reverse head and shoulders, symmetrical triangles, and ascending and descending triangles. A double top is a term used for technical analysis that depicts the rise of a currency price, a drop, and then another rise to the same level before dropping off again. The double top usually indicates a trend reversal in an uptrending market. The chart shown here shows a double top where the price level hit two peaks then dropped off. The usual method of entering a trade using a double top is to sell when the price drops below the dipping point in between the two peaks of the double top. This is represented by the circle on the chart. The profit target is calculated by subtracting the price of one of the tops from the dipping point in between the two tops and subtracting that number from the value of the dipping point. A double bottom is a chart pattern used for technical analysis that depicts the drop of a currency price, a rise, and then another drop to the same level before rising again. The double bottom usually indicates a trend reversal in a downtrending market. The chart shows a double bottom when the price level hit two bottoms with a rise in between. The usual method of entering a trade using a double bottom is to buy when the price rises above the resistance point between the bottoms. This point is represented by the circle on the chart. The profit target is calculated by subtracting the price of one of the bottoms from the midpoint in between the two bottoms and adding that number to the value of the resistance point between the two bottoms. Triple tops and bottoms are extended variations of double tops and bottoms. Instead of two tops or bottoms, there are three. The only difference between the doubles and the triples are that there is a third support or resistance level in the chart pattern. You can calculate the profit target the same way as the doubles. Head and shoulders are a technical analysis term that refers to a chart pattern that rises to a peak, then declines, then the price rises above the previous peak, and again declines. The last move rises to a peak approximately equal to the first peak before it drops off. Sounds a lot more complicated than it is. Picture a human head and shoulders, and that is what the pattern on the chart will resemble. This is a trend reversal chart pattern and regarded as one of the most reliable patterns to predict price movement. To calculate a profit target, one needs to draw a line between the bottoms of the two shoulders, which is called a neckline. Then you subtract the head point from the neckline, and that equals the amount of pips for the profit target. This number is then subtracted from the neckline to get your price target. Reverse head and shoulders is a chart pattern that declines to a point, then rises. Then the price declines below the previous point and rises again. The last move declines to a point approximately equal to the first point before it rises past both points. The chart resembles an upside down head and shoulders, hence the name reverse head and shoulders. Reverse head and shoulders is also considered one of the most reliable chart patterns to predict price movement. To calculate a profit target, you need to draw a line between the bottoms of the two shoulders, which is called a neckline. You then subtract the head point from the neckline, and that equals the amount of pips for the profit target. This number is then added to the neckline to get your price target. Symmetrical triangles are a chart pattern that reflects market indecision. Attempts to push higher are met by selling, while dips are met with buying. Each new lower top and higher bottom becomes more shallow than the last, taking on a shape of a sideways triangle. Eventually, this indecision is resolved and usually explodes out of this formation. A common analogy for symmetrical triangles is like squeezing a spring. It will get smaller and smaller, and then when it is let go, it will move a lot in a short period of time. With symmetrical triangles, the price could go in either direction. The ascending triangle is a variation of the symmetrical triangle. Ascending triangles are usually found in bullish markets and are most reliable when found in an uptrend. The top part of the triangle appears flat, while the bottom part of the triangle has an upward trend line. The price will get closer and closer to the resistance line before it breaks out to the upside. The descending triangle is also a variation of the symmetrical triangle. Descending triangles are usually found in downtrending markets and are most reliable when found in these downtrends. The bottom part of the triangle appears flat, while the top part of the triangle has a downward trend line. The price will get closer to the support before breaking out below it.